Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Festool Domino machine. Now, this is a very expensive machine and we want to take care with it. It's similar to a biscuit in the way it works. However, it uses dominoes instead of biscuits and therefore provides a more accurate, more solid joint. Now, there's a few things you want to be aware of. Number one, power goes in, in at the rear. And this is the power plug. And it comes through, sits in there, and then you twist it to lock in. Now, you must have this put in the correct way for it to work, obviously. Otherwise, you can't get it in. That's power. Number two, the extraction hose for the dust extractor, or vacuum as you may say, is going to pop on right here. And that goes on and twists on and locks in so it can't come off mid-use. You must have the extraction on because it creates a lot of dust. Speaking of dust, let's talk about some of the other hazards. The biggest hazard there is, is this very sharp tool that comes out here and it spins side to side. And when it's rotating and spinning side to side, it's moving very fast and is very dangerous. If you get your hand anywhere near there, you're in trouble. One of the issues people often have with the domino is they put it on something like this and then they put their hand here and they push through and it goes straight into their hand. So it's very important to always have your piece clamped or in a vise so that you never have the issue of getting your hand anywhere near that blade. It's dangerous, it's unsafe, so you are never to hold your piece you're always to go through and have it clamped. And yes, it takes a bit more time, but safety is key. From there, we also need to be wearing glasses, as always, we're in a workshop, an apron, protecting our clothes, earmuffs, because the noise is so loud. You must have the extraction, because otherwise the dust is too much. And you must also have, have your hair tied up in a bun, if it's long hair, and also remove any rings and bangles, because you don't want them getting caught on anything. As we progress through here, let me tell you about a few features of this domino. Number one is this raises it up and down. So this lever here locks it in a certain height or loosens it off so it can come up and down. Easy. Now if we spin it around, we come over here, there's this over here which actually assists in set depths. And so when we're using the domino for our project, I'll tell you different set depths for different parts. And it's going to allow you to go through and to really lock in where these pieces are needing to go. So that's something that's very important and very cool. It just makes working with it all, it all the more easier and quicker. This changes the angle of the fence here. Now, this is important because this, even though we're going to be using it at that 90 degree flat, or 180 degree? 90 degree, yep. Flat cut straight in. And we're just going to go straight in for these projects, the projects that we're using, making at the moment. The option, the fact that it has the options to do different angled cuts is extremely important. And it's one of the things that makes the domino so great, is that we've got those options with ease. Now, dominoes come in different sizes and different lengths. Now that's because obviously different machines or different products require different purposes. This is one of the smaller dominoes, and so it takes a four mil bit, a six mil bit, and an eight mil bit. And as you can see, I believe we've got the old six mil bit in there at the moment, but I'll have to confirm that. Um, it's just stock standard straight out of the box. But that comes out so far there. But you can adjust how far it goes into your timber because sometimes you want a deeper cut on one side than you do on another, or potentially you just don't want a deep cut and you want to take that domino down and make it a smaller domino because you're trying to join some small things together. And in that case, we've got the depth over here. This is gonna allow you to control how deep it goes. So as you can see, we had it on 28 before. Now we've got it on 12 and it doesn't go very far, not at all. And we can even go, sorry, now we've got it on 12 and it really doesn't go far at all. And so that's one also key in, in safety here is knowing how far this is gonna plunge and how far, how much material you need it to remove. Because the worst thing is to go through and cut out a hole and put your domino in and then realize you've, gone, you've put it, made it so deep that you need to either remove that domino and, and fill that hole with glue in a domino and then re-domino. Because that's, like, that's the worst thing that can happen. It's just annoying. The worst thing is you can screw your project up and go through the entire side, actually. That's the worst. Especially cutting one of these. It is possible to go through to the far end, which is why we keep our hands away from here. So whenever we're using this, we must clamp it which means your product needs to be clamped or needs to be put in a vise. 
you are never to hold a piece because this is when people, this is how people get hurt. Is they sit it here, they then run that, run that through and they're holding that there. And then it goes straight into their finger and slices it up. Now, with a 29 mil piece, they're like, oh, that's not the biggest issue because it's unlikely. But if you're using a, we'll say a 12 mil piece and you're dominoing into the side like this and you go through, all of a sudden you've broken through your timber, which has ruined the job, but then you've also gone through and destroyed your hand. So we need to be very intentional about the depth of cut here. So please be very aware. We do have one last feature and it's a feature that we don't use here in school because we just rely on you to do a good job the first time. Now this feature up here changes the width of the cut. Dominoes are a set, stand, uh, set sizing and you can make your own. Um, but these are a set size and so we keep it on the tightest one because ultimately we want everything to line up and be intentional. Now let's just say you go through and you're just off and you screw up. We can use some of these other settings to give you a wider cut. But by doing a wider cut, it means your joints are less stable and we don't want that. We want it to be as stable as possible. So go through, be accurate with your marking up, be intentional, be safe with the domino and always ensure, as with all tools, please get permission before using. I'll see you guys in the next video.